Welcome back to my channel Technology in the Future. What if Sony's next release isn't just another small step forward, but a complete reinvention of the hybrid mirrorless camera? The much-rumored Sony A7V has moved far beyond obscure forum. Chatter and pixelated Reddit teasers, now it's shaping up to be one of the most anticipated launches in the camera world. Roughly four years after the A7IV made its debut, Sony seems poised to deliver a model that blends professional still photography with cinema grade. Video features in a way we haven't quite seen before. Today we're diving deep into every credible leak, informed speculation, and whispered insider detail to find out whether the A7V truly deserves the hype it's generating. Let's start with the paper. Trail, because when new model registrations appear, things get serious. In May 2025, Sony quietly filed a new product under the code WW84220. With manufacturing believed to be underway in Wuxi, China, a model codes alone don't guarantee a release date, industry watchers know this kind of move usually signals. The final stages of pre-launch production. That's not a rumor, it's a hard clue pointing toward an imminent announcement. On the pricing front, reports suggest a US launch price between $2,799 in $2,999 for the body only. For buyers outside the US, factors like VAT import taxes and currency fluctuations will likely push that number higher. It's not exactly entry-level territory, but for those looking for a DATL hybrid camera with advanced photo and video capabilities, it could be seen as fair value. The real curiosity, however, revolves around the sensor. Two strong possibilities have emerged. One rumor points to a 44-megapixel back-illuminated BSIC-MOS sensor. Perfect for photographers seeking ultra-high resolution for detailed landscapes, commercial shoots, and editorial work. The other leak hints at a 33-megapixel stacked CMOS sensor, optimized for extreme readout speeds, superior low-light performance, high-end video capabilities. This presents a clear fork in the road. The 44MP sensor caters to resolution purists. Oh while the 33MP stacked option would prioritize speed, responsiveness, and versatility. Sports, wildlife, and fast-paced event shooters might gravitate toward the stacked option, while studio and fine art photographers may prefer the extra megapixels for cropping flexibility and detail retention. The camera's processing power could be just as significant as the sensor choice. Word is that Sony will equip the A7V with an updated Bion's XR processor, similar to the one found in the flagship A1 and cinema-focused FX3, but reportedly tuned for even faster performance. Coupled with next-gen, AI-driven autofocus, this could mean human-animal. An object tracking so precise it feels invisible locking. Onto a subject and staying glued even during unpredictable movement. Imagine tracking a bird mid-flight, a race car on a sharp turn or a child sprinting across a field without losing focus for even a frame. For content creators and filmmakers, the video upgrades could be a major selling point. Leaks suggest 16-bit, RAW output over HDMI full support for S-Log3, and possibly s cinetone profiles, which would give colorists and editors huge creative freedom in post-production. While some might have hoped for native 6000 recording or full-frame 4K at 120 FPS, the inclusion of Hybit depth output in a body of this size could be a more practical win for those who value grading flexibility and dynamic range over sheer resolution. Numbers? And then there's stabilization a make-or-break feature for handheld shooters. Reports indicate that Sony is aiming for up to eight stops of five axes in body image stabilization, which if accurate, would make handheld videos smoother than ever before. Combine that with dual media slots supporting Sfex Press Type A and SDUHS2 cards and you've got a setup ready for demanding hybrid. Workflows, the big question is how this will feel in real world use. For photographers still using an A7 III or an older DSLR from Canon or Nikon, the leap to the A7V could be transformative. For current A7 IV owners, the decision might come down to whether the autofocus stabilization and processing speed improvements are compelling enough to justify the upgrade. The design language is expected to remain familiar, but under the hood, Sony may be pushing the limits further than it has in years. In short, 
the A7V looks set to deliver a careful balance of refinement and innovation enough to excite professionals. While remaining approachable for serious enthusiasts, whether you're chasing ultimate resolution, high-speed action capture, or cinematic quality video in a compact body, Sony's latest creation might check all the boxes. So, what's your take? Will you be upgrading to the A7V when it drops? Or are you holding out for whatever Sony has planned in its next generation? Share your thoughts below. I'd love to hear how this potential powerhouse fits into your workflow. If you enjoyed this deep dive into the latest leaks in industry chatter, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so you never miss a future breakdown, launch update, or behind-the-scenes tech reveal here on Technology in the Future.